Hi everybody, this is Nick with the Massachusetts Ghostbusters along with... My name is Patrick, I'm with the New Hampshire Ghostbusters. And we're here at Rhode Island Comic Con. As always, we're raising and busting for a cause for uh, the Bay State Children's Hospital. Bay State Children's Hospital is our, our charity group we do work for. 100% uh, of what we raise here goes towards that charity. Uh, last year we did 5,000, we're looking to hit 7,500 this year. Uh, everything you see here, we, we raffle off stuff to raise money. We got Monopoly, Legos, Diamond Select figures, all kinds of great stuff. The Piggy Bank uh, uh, mascot, Mr. Stay Puff. All that's being raffled off here. And uh, along beside us, we do have the new uh, Rhode Island chapter, which is the Ocean State Ghostbusters. Hi, I'm Elise Newell from Ocean State Ghostbusters. I'm uh, the co-founder, actually my husband, he should be over here. Uh, we actually started it together last year uh, when we watched the Ghost Heads uh, documentary. And uh, we were like so inspired by it and we were looking around to see if there was a Rhode Island chapter and there wasn't, so we were like, why not? So uh, basically right now we're raising money for Gloria Gemma breast cancer. Um, but we're really happy to be here with Massachusetts and uh, New Hampshire and help with uh, Bay State Children's Hospital because charity is charity. That's really what we're in it for. Rhode Come Con for like our, our third year, but what year is this for you? When was the first year? Yeah, do you remember? I've done it every year. So he doesn't remember what his first year was. Year but one, baby. Yeah. He's a veteran. We're novices at this still, but we're doing I'm old okay. school, baby. I'm a ridge. So, but. We're very happy to be here. We're very happy to have our relationship with Johnny Ruckus. We, we wouldn't be anywhere without him, we have to be honest about that, truly. But here in Massachusetts, we do a good thing. We bust for charity. We're gaining members. Sam is one of our new prospective members. He'll be probably earning his wings very soon. Uh, behind me, we got Nick. And the big guy over there is our other guy, Brian. So we're here all weekend. Raise your money for a good cause, and we do it thanks to people like yourself. Ghostbusters! Here with Hillary Shepard, actress. Uh, you've been on Star Trek, you've been on Power Rangers. Um, notice you're doing some uh, recent stuff. Now, would you be so happy to tell the uh, folks at home what's going on in uh, your career? I'm actually, uh, I wrote a book with Daryl Hannah that's coming out next year called Wild Love. And Rosanna Arquette, Daryl Hannah, and I are doing a documentary together uh, about all the things that are going on right now in the entertainment industry with all the sexual harassment and things like that. So we're making a documentary about that. Oh, that's that's amazing. With the whole Harvey Weinsteins and stuff, that's, that's very good. Um, now... You probably get asked a million questions all the time, but uh, how did you, how did you get into acting? Um, I just always wanted to be an actress, and I just I didn't know anybody in the industry, but I did every play when I was little. I studied acting at Northwestern and USC, and then I was in the Groundlings doing comedy improv with Paul Rubens, who's here right now. And I just knocked on every door and kept doing things, and just like you know the normal way, really. The plays you did when you were um, prior to becoming big. Uh, what were some of your favorites, some of the classics you liked? Um, well, I did a lot of things from the women to, I mean, you know, all the usual plays you do in college, but I did an off-Broadway show that I really loved, and um, that got me a lot of attention, and I won some awards for that. And also being in the Groundlings doing comedy improv, everybody would come through there, and people would come looking for talent there, so that helped me a lot, too. Well, thank you so much for taking the time. Thank you. Hi, we're here uh, with Hollywood from um, Glow Wrestling and from Southeast Tech TV. And I'd like to ask you, how's your time here at Rhode Island Comic Con? Oh my God, I love it here. This is my second time at Rhode Island. And you know what? The people here are pretty awesome. This is like a ton of people and pretty excited. Nice. Um, you're one of my favorite uh, wrestlers growing up. But can you tell us of some of your experiences uh, with Glow? Oh, I have lots of experiences, good or bad. All of them. Tell them some of your favorites. Oh, my God. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm a heel, and kind of in bad life, in, in real life, I'm, I never say no to anything. I'm like, I'm going to do it. If someone tells us no, we're going to do it. We have a, here's something. We were in San Diego, and our director said, I don't want anyone going down to Tijuana. San Tijuana's real close to the border. So he told all the girls, he looked at me, he goes, Hollywood, you are not to go to Tijuana. Well, 
on the plane ride down, me and the girls were like, let's go to Tijuana. I go, I want to get some, some. Uh, I wanted to get these tips for my boots. I go, we're going to go down there. So after the meeting was over, I go, come on, girls, let's go. They're like, no, we're not allowed to go. And I'm like, hey, we decided that we were going before they put the rule in place. We're going. And we got so busted. Oh, that's we, awesome. We got in a lot, a lot of trouble. Um, you know, but the experience that I've had with Glow is a positive one. You know, I, I did the PSA commercials, for, 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 which were the drug commercial things that we did. Nice. So that's something that's kind of positive. But, you know, being a heel, you try to be a role model, too, for, for kids. Absolutely. I always think that um, I've been doing this for 30 years, and I think that you should have plan B. Don't be 55 years old or 50 years old and falling on the ground. But I love, I'm here. I we, love. We love you here. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Now, do you have any other current projects that you're working on? Uh, the project, we have the Afterglow Cruise, which is coming up. And the Afterglow Cruise is in March. It's going out of New York uh, to Nassau and another Cape Canaveral area. And that's seven days. And that will be the third Afterglow Cruise. Mm -hmm. So that will be next year. Uh, currently working on a book project, so that's all I can say about that. Nice. Working on that. Is there a, a website or place our fans can uh, find out any more information? You guys can always go to Instagram, official Glow Hollywood. You can go to my Facebook page, which is Hollywood Productions. And Glow, the, the After Glow Cruise has yep. a Facebook page. Perfect. Just Google it and you will find us. You're awesome. Awesome. And also, charity when we had all those hurricanes puerto rico houston uh, um, florida i did all these i said anybody who buys a t-shirt we're going to get 50 percent to charity we also helped with animals to rescue and so i will do that anytime for charity well thank you you're very That's welcome awesome. Hi, I'm here with Judith Hogue here at Comic-Con Rhode Island. And Judith, I have to ask you, what's it like to be April O'Neil in the hearts of American uh, Ninja Turtle fans across the world? Oh my gosh, it's an honor. It really is. Yes. Um, I had no idea when I did the movie that, how many years has this been? It's like 27 years, 28 years. It's a lot. It's a lot of years. Um, that people would care so much and that they'd still feel so connected to the movie and they'd still feel like this was something that they loved. And I have like two, three generations that will come to the table and want autographs and want to say hi and tell me their story about how they love the movie, so it's nice. The movie changed my life. I've, I've, I've watched it hundreds, hundreds of times over. Um, the next question is, uh, who's your favorite turtle? Uh, I love them all. It's Good like answer. a mother who's like, who do you pick your favorite child? Awesome. Right. And I do want to ask for Ninja Turtle fans out there. We have, well, I've heard that there was a scene in the new Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows, so you're yes. a cameo. And yes. is there any way that we can find out about that? Yes. Well, what happened was I, they wanted me to do the first movie, mm -hmm. and um, schedules didn't work. And then the second movie they wanted me to do, and they wrote a part for me. And I had, I think I had like three scenes. And um, and so I flew to New York and I did it. And I had a, I actually had a, just an amazing time. We shot everything in Times Square, which is crazy. And then they cut the scenes out of the movie. And knowing as much as I do about the movie business, they had to cut it out for one of two reasons: either the movie was long, and they have to start trimming, and mm -hmm. that's always painful, or they took the story in a different direction. Because we had such a fun time, so I don't take it personally. Well, I think, in my opinion, it could have been you would have shown up the other April O'Neil. Oh, you're oh. so sweet. I have, to... I have to tell you, though, Megan Fox is she a doll. Yeah, yeah she is. She's she did a good doll. job. But she's, she did. She's you're no Judith so the Hope. Absolutely. I love Christy. Thank you. <laughs> it's, 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 a, it's been a dream interviewing April O'Neil. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, yes. And also, oh. any new projects do you have in the works? I do. I just finished shooting a movie in uh, Washington, D.C. with George Pelicanos, who's the executive producer of The Wire oh, nice. and um, The Deuce on HBO. And it's his movies. It's his uh, directorial debut. So that's exciting. I have uh, another movie coming out. Um, we're actually going to be, fingers crossed, it looks like, we'll be at Sundance. Okay. Um, and it's called Fishbowl. And then I have another movie coming out called Forever My Girl. And it's coming out at the beginning of the year. 
perfect. And we can all find this on your Twitter, your Instagram, yes, your Facebook. Yes, Twitter, Instagram, boom. At HeyJude629. Voila. Hello. Because I love to, I really do love to connect with my fans. Perfect. It really is um, one of the fun things about doing this. And I'd love to send as many as we can to you. You're a legend. You're so sweet. Thank you. Thank you, Christy. Thank you. I'm here with Brian O'Halloran. Thank you so much for taking the time for, to, to be interviewed for the Rhode Island Comic Con. You're here in Rhode Island, Providence, Rhode Island. It's the annual Rhode Island Comic Con. How do you feel about the place so far? Well, you know, I've done this show three times before. Last time I was here, I was about three years ago. And uh, every time I come here, the, the place has expanded even more and more and more. And it's good to see that the uh, fans all the way up here in New England, especially people even coming up from, you know, Canada, coming down from Canada, coming up from New York, and everybody coming out from the island and stuff. It's good to see the response being such a great, great response. And the, uh, the amount of guests they have this weekend is it's unbelievable. Astronaut. Unbelievable. Now, um, you're up to a few new projects now. Um, now, wh what are you up to right now uh, in, 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 your, in your acting and directing? Um... Sure. Uh, lately, uh, I just uh, got done shooting a film called Right Before Your Eyes, uh, written and directed by a director by the name of David Bob, uh, just outside of Philadelphia. That should be out next year. It's about a guy who uh, suffers from alcoholism and loses his wife and his kids to, from separation from his him hitting rock bottom and how his friends rally around him to bring him back to to, to becoming sober. So that's a, a project I just got done working on. I know next year we'll be working on another Jay and Silent Bob film. Uh, there's a film that's out right now with uh, Tom Sizemore called Bad Frank, a very, very violent, violent mob movie. Uh, that's out on uh, iTunes and Amazon. Uh, there's a show called uh, Fireball Run that I filmed uh, this past September. I also did it last year, season 10 of Fireball Run on Amazon Prime. Uh, that'll be coming out by the end of this year. Um, and then I have a couple of projects that I'm in talks with right now. That's wonderful. And now is, uh, for your fans and for, for anyone that's interested in your projects, sure. is there a website that they can go to? Well, the best way is to keep in touch with me is the, either through my Twitter or my Instagram or Facebook accounts. And so uh, Instagram and Twitter, it's Brian C. O'Halloran on uh, Twitter and Instagram. And then on my Facebook, it's uh, that Brian C. O'Halloran. Or the, excuse me, the Brian C. O'Halloran. Thank you so much, Brian. Not at all. Thanks for coming out. Stay tuned. Hi, uh, we're here with Eric from DeLoreanEntertainment.com, and we're here at Rhode Island Comic Con, and I gotta say, car enthusiast, enthusiast, eat your hearts out. He's got the best collection <laughs> I've ever seen. Tell me again, what you, um, how's your experience here at Rhode Island Comic Con? Oh my God, Rhode Island's awesome. We work with the uh, people here, and you know what? The fans are awesome. The actual, this whole environment, real friendly, people are real cool, great costumes, and you know, we get to meet cool guys like you and do interviews. How, how much better could that be? It's awesome. Uh, I'm in love with the cars I've seen here. Can you tell our fans out, out there what kind of vehicles that you offer? Oh my God. This year, we have the Back to the Future DeLorean, which is cast signed by Michael J. Fox, Chris Lloyd, Bob Gale, the whole crew. We have the Scooby-Doo van. Oh my God, the Mystery Machine. Zoinks, it's my favorite. But we also have all kinds of cool stuff. We have the Ecto-1A from Ghostbusters, which we purchased directly from Universal. We have a General Lee. We have the, uh, oh my God, the family vacation car, the family truckster. We have a 66 Batmobile, the Bat Cycle. I mean, the list goes on and on. And these are things that we love to bring to shows. We do fundraisers. So all kinds of great events that we get to do. That's awesome. One of my personal questions I want to know is, can, uh, when the interview is done, can you take me to DeLorean back to the 90s? Sure, if that's where you want to go, I mean, let's go. Absolutely. His cars are beautiful. If you haven't seen them, definitely check out the website. Absolutely phenomenal. I'm in love. You will be too. And thank, thank you. Thanks for joining us. It's showtime, Synergy. A little bit of hot sauce. Lick it off. I'm off course. Downtown in a fun world.
Hi, my name is Samantha Newark, and you probably best know me as the voice of Gem and Jerrica from the original Gem and the Holograms cartoon series and Transformers, a bunch of other stuff. We're having the best times. You know it's a good show when your cheeks are hurting because you're smiling so much. It's, it's been amazing, meeting lovely people. Um, I have a brand new album out. It's called Hologram, which is basically a love letter to the Gem fans. They've been with me for so many years now, and I have it on pink vinyl, which is... It's beautiful, it's really fun, and it's a fun record, so that's what I'm up to late these days, yeah. This is Gil Gerard, this is Veronica, and that's Felix Seelan. Hello. Hi, how are you? Very good, wonderful. That's Veronica. She's Hi, Veronica, how are you doing? Yes, I've been here for almost 18 years. Really? How many years have you been here? My whole life. Yeah, and I've never been to Ukraine. I've been to other places, but not Ukraine. Hmm? Many places, yeah, not everywhere, but he's up. Could you show the beautiful picture to the camera? I love that picture. You like this picture? I like that picture. Veronica likes this picture. I like this picture. It's the only picture that wasn't taken by a professional photographer. Oh, really? Yeah. I got some nice pictures taken, not professional photographers. That's very who nice. I like, and uh, it's on the IMDb now. Is it on IMDb? <laughs> I'm there now, yes. I'm just, um, yeah. yeah, this was taken by my makeup artist. Really? Very yeah, nice. Yeah, she had just finished getting many, it all ready. For how many years ago? <laughs> well, let's see. A couple. 1978. What handsome, is that? very handsome. Thank you. You're very sweet. That's about 39 years ago. Wow, amazing. So I, I, I've been here since 1955. 1955. Yeah. Yeah, I'm from Italy. I'm from Italy. Oh, you can see that. Yeah, I know. It's easy to get. Yeah. How long have you been here? I've been here. It's going to be 18 years. 18? Oh, you speak good English. I'm a linguist. I'm a linguist. And I used to play violin, so I got that perfect pitch. Why do you not still play it? I mean, I used to. My mom wanted me to play. I don't really play. Oh, do you not like? did you not like it? Perfect. You played <laughs> a violin. I did it for, for her friends. She was a te uh, teacher, history teacher. She wanted to play piano. Piano, yes, oh. right. If you, if anybody wants to study to learn uh, violin, you have to. You really? have to, yes. Oh, because almost that. everyone can play piano, but not everyone can play violin. Exactly, you're right. You it takes a, a really good ear to play violin. Yes. So did you did you not like playing the violin? We're in oh, interviewing here. He's been having a good time. Are you going to answer that question or not? Which one? Did you enjoy playing the violin? Yeah, sure, yes. So I why don't you still play it? That's a good, good question. I probably should have. Do you not have a violin? <laughs> I left it in Ukraine with my mom. Oh, my well, uh, you, did you, you didn't have to escape or anything, did you? No, I didn't escape. You just immigrated from the Ukraine? I just came here, yes. Yeah. I came here for good life, and then um, I'm here in good ask life. Ask what they're up to. Ask what folks are up to, so they can plug down. Absolutely. Go ahead. What are you up to? <laughs> Nothing. I don't know. I'm having He's fun here. Having I fun have here. no idea what we're doing, but I'm we're up to. We're having a good time. Yeah. 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 How about here? I got nothing going on as far as the I'm project. Just the coach. Yeah. Just the coach. Huh? It's a Ukrainian kind of thing. Yes, it's a Buddhist approach. Is that what you said? You don't know where your Ukraine is? No, it's Buddhist. Buddhist approach. Buddhist approach. Exactly. Be be in the now. It's going to be there in a year or two years from now, right? Yes. You know what they say? Yesterday, 
is history. Tomorrow is a mystery. Today, today is a gift. That's why it's called the present. You can write that down if you'd like. Write it down, Chris. I never was one for the shallow water Never afraid of the dark Hard to handle the excitable kind Take off running when I could have walked And maybe I should listen when mama said Girl, to yourself be true I was hard headed couldn't make up my mind Was I waiting for only you I will jump right into the deep end Of the river of love, love, love I gotta be satisfied I wanna be baptized Down in the deep end 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 I told myself I would never surrender Though I was no stranger to the thrill Then came the thirst in your eyes And the twist in your smile And I hold my heart steady until I will jump right into the deep end Of the river of love, love, love I gotta be satisfied, I wanna be baptized Down in the deep end, down in the deep end Down in the deep end, yeah Yeah, yeah. 
current is strong, but the water is warm, and the river runs pure and wide. Baby, take my hand, take a lover's chance, and meet me on the other side. I will jump right into the deep end of the river of love, love, love. I gotta be satisfied, I wanna be baptized Down in the deep end, down in the deep end Down in the deep end, down in the deep end I will jump right into the deep end of the river of love, love, love I wanna be satisfied, I gotta be baptized Come on, let's do real round. 